Easter, and if you're from Western New York, you know the celebration is going to continue. Really, the party continues on Monday with Dingus Day, a celebration of all things Polish. There's plenty of parties, celebrations planned this year, including the annual Dingus Day Parade. And joining me in studio is Eddie Dobashevitz, organizer of this year's parade. So first off, for those who don't know, what's Dingus Day? Dingus Day is really kind of a, a reverse Fat Tuesday. It's uh, instead of a celebration the day before Lent starts, it's a celebration the day after Lent ends. It's really an ancient uh, ritual that uh, is associated probably with the longer uh, growing uh, season or the beginning of the growing season, the longer days, and celebrating the resurrection uh, of Jesus. Tell us about the parade. The parade is spectacular. The parade has garnered us international publicity. I, I'm not kidding you, Claudia. I know. The, the, the president of Poland knows about this. I was with him a few months ago. He knows about Dingus Day. I was with Lech Wałęsa last month in Miami, and he knows about Dingus Day in Buffalo. So the parade is, uh, is it's not your typical parade. It's very um, uh, kind of bohemian. Uh, you know, people, instead of throwing out bees, although they do that, um, we've had people throw out butter lambs, <laughs> small loaves of rye bread, uh, uh, vacuum-sealed kielbasas. It's, it's the only parade I think in the world where you can go and be entertained and do your grocery shopping at the same time. <laughs> it really has grown over the years. So for somebody who's new to town or just new to Dingus Day, what should they really expect? You might as well. Show well, too, they right? should expect uh, getting swatted, you know, spanked with pussy willow branches. Uh, they might uh, get splashed with some water. Right. They should expect a lot of love. There's a lot of uh, uh, smiling, a lot of hugging and kissing going on. It's a, it's a really, it's a very, very unique experience. We have great events here in Western New York, right. but this one has a lot of love and, and there's nostalgia in the air, but there's new friends meeting, there's old friends meeting. Uh, it, it's, it's all about what the spirit of Dingus is. Dingus is not just a day, it's a state of mind. And that state of mind is about Starting over fresh, uh, 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 reawakening, uh, the resurrection, uh, the new beginnings. That's what it is. And what time does the parade actually start? The parade starts at 5.30. Some of the venues uh, start as early as 8 a.m. Most of them start around noon. Um, and it goes till, you know, about 9, 10 o'clock. It depends on, on the venue. There's numerous venues that are all spread out all across western New York. We actually have branched out from the historic Polonia district this year. In addition to that area, we also also have uh, the M Hotel, which is a great place if you're looking for parking, folks. That's a good place because we have free shuttles that will take you into the parade area, and there's lots of parking over there. But we also have uh, venues right downtown, right around the corner from the studio here at Soho and Hofbrau House. So all the information is on the website, which is dingusday.com, or you can pick up one of these great guides that are available all over town. A lot of top stores have them. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, but this guide is on the website as well. Great. Eddie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Telling us all about Dingus Day.